Here we are at the finale. Or should I say, finally, huh? <laughs> yeah, whatever. I don't write this stuff. If you recall, the long journey to the Vault of the Traveler actually began by accident. Atlas's gorgeous robot was designed to not only summon the Vault of the Traveler, it was also meant to deal with the complications of entering the Vault. Two unlikely Vault Hunters began to assemble it, but one component remained out of reach on a Hyperion space station. Pressed into service by the local crime lord, they concocted a plan to sneak aboard. The corporate lackey had access to inside information, but he didn't dare reveal his source. An old rival provided a priceless disguise, <laughs> while new allies helped cobble together a rummage sale lady, rocket you should have had yourself a rocket. Once again, tempting fate, they flung themselves into space. Indeed, they would have died up there, were it not for the sacrifice of a noble soul. Finally aboard the space station, the salary man found himself contending with his ambitious former accomplice. Choosing his words carefully, he managed to maintain his disguise. Working together, the gun artist and the salary man managed one last miracle and acquired the final Gordis component. At that moment, the former middle manager discovered that the plan had worked. Not there. <laughs> Handsome Jacks. Put them in one of the cells for questioning. Look at the three of us living a life of crime. What are you in for? They caught me at one of the security checkpoints. We're here to be shot, Tony! Uh, what? We all know about the plan. We intercepted your comms. So... Oh, cool! So we don't have to explain it! Where's Reese? A lot of strange things have been happening today. And I just need to talk to him. Oh, hey, you know, you've got something on your face! What was on her face? Did you get it? I believe I did. Get them into the cell. Reese, you alright? I heard what sounded like a dying animal. Reese! What is going on up there? <laughs> oh, this just feels right. You know, like it was meant to be. Vault hunters kill me, I learn humility, you bring me back where I belong, wiser and stronger. It's a, it's a pretty sweet little character arc, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, except for that part where I learned humility, that's, that's crap. Because I can, <laughs> whatever, I got people for that. Hyperion doesn't need you anymore, Jack. Deal with it, you're old news. You know, funny you should mention that, because I'm not going to be the same old me. I mean, I'll obviously be wearing you like a fleshy tracksuit, which will be new for you. But I've got some pretty sick upgrades planned. Oh, 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 hang on, don't go anywhere. I gotta, I gotta show you something. So, this is a sick ass endoskeleton Nakayama made for me. See, they were gonna put it inside my original body and then upload my consciousness into it, so I'll be wearing my old body like a skin suit. It's great, right? Only the original me died before that could happen, which is why I need you, big guy. 
So if you can just stay still, this is gonna get grafted into your body, and then I'll get uploaded into it. Couldn't figure out how to get this thing into my body without killing me, but hey, <laughs> doesn't matter if you die. You can't do this! Why would you say that? I clearly can, and I clearly will. No, seriously, I mean you can't. You're stuck in my head, Jack. Our minds are connected. If I die, you die, remember? Oh, is that how you thought you were going to get out of this? Sorry, that's not how it works anymore. I've transferred my consciousness into the computer systems of the base. You know what that means? Ah! Okay, here we go. Let's get this scary robot skeleton inside of you. That's on me. Answer Jack always wins, Tim. What? Ah, oh, well, easy went down by Tankhead and then this poor, horrible agonizing thing. To go. Not an option, okay? We're waiting for Reese. Ah! <clears throat> well, that's convenient. Oh, my body. It hurts inside my body. <clears throat> you all right? I heard screaming. Apparently, Jack is. Jack is loose in the system. Okay. I don't really know what that means. Well, nothing good. Hey, we need to go! Oh, yeah. I'm sorry my internal bleeding is holding us up. <sighs> okay. <sighs> okay. I can do this. Reese. I'm so sorry. That? Hello, Yvette. Listen, Reese, I gave Hyperion your coordinates because they gave me a guarantee. Guarantee? Oh, that we would have a painful death? Is that the guarantee? That you'd be safe. They wanted to kill you and rip some top-secret file out of your head. I made sure they spared you. Please, Reese. I'm as good as dead if you leave me. No. Reese! Please! I'm sorry, okay? Come on! Like you never screwed someone over for a promotion. Reese! Reese! Warning lockdown protocol in effect. Hey, we gotta go! Gotta move! Go! Reese, we got a problem. <laughs> Add it to the list. The hangar bay doors just locked tighter than the bully monk's jaw. The caravan ain't going nowhere. Sasha! Heads up! Shit! Reese! Take the beacon and get the caravan ready! I'll get the hangar doors open! I can override it in the power yeah. core! Yeah, okay, do that! But, you know, be careful. There are guards all over the place. Ugh, it's true! 
Danger seems to follow us. All right. Just don't leave me. Of course. If I was gonna leave you, I would have done it a long time ago. Oh, that's... that's reassuring. Here you go! Come on, hang your base this way. 